Forehead apart, forehead in contact with the mat, and then begin to relax your forearms onto the mat. Welcome to a day in the life, a chill day in my life. It's a work day, so I just got ready to go to the office. It's gonna be a great day. It's kind of cold out today, but it's sunny at least. It's sunny and clear skies. I have my coffee ready, and I actually drank a cup of tea this morning to just warm up my body. It was really hard to get out of bed because my room is really cold. And I'm starting to wake up earlier every day. I'm trying to start waking up at 6 but I'm doing it slowly I'm starting off with getting up at 6 30 until I can like gradually bring myself to waking up at 6 every day and I just start turning on my therapy lamp right away so that you know I can start getting some energy and just wake up yeah anyways I don't know why I just started rambling about that let me show you my outfit this is my outfit i'm wearing a black turtleneck with these black trousers from zara i actually love these pants these are one of my favorite pants they have a zipper on the side and they're just 
really cute and flowy at the bottom but really snug at the waist so love them and as always i'm wearing sneakers i'm actually gonna put a jacket on top of this though because i think it's like 53 degrees today it's just like the coldest it's been so far this fall so yeah let me cover up because <laughs> this is not for me Also, I love this trench so much. This is actually a thrift find. I found this at a thrift store in Flatiron.
home i am tired i actually couldn't sleep last night so i went to sleep really late so i'm even surprised that i woke up ahead of my alarm i woke up at like 6 20 today um or 6 30 something like that definitely calling it a night early tonight it's 8 23 and i hope to be in bed by like 9 30. well by the way y'all let me show you fiddle fiddle is struggling right now <laughs> so if you watch my vlogs you saw that i repotted fiddle right like three weeks ago maybe a whole month ago now and i kind of disturbed the the roots because i had to separate the plants they were like three larger plants attached to the root and it was really really difficult for me to even break it apart it was hard y'all if you watched that vlog it's the day that was hella windy <laughs> like the wind was blowing me and the plants away that was rough i don't think i even show it in the vlog but taking it apart was a mess like it was really difficult to break it apart it's only natural for plants to struggle a little bit when you disturb the root so she's struggling but also thriving at the same time like all of this is new growth this is new this is new this you can see here is also forming a new leaf here but these older ones are getting these brown spots so you see a brown spot here and here and like all around the old ones but she keeps bringing forth new leaves so i'm not that worried but i'm hoping that after these ones fall off which they'll eventually fall off on their own once it does that i think she'll just continue to flourish and become a beautiful tree this is definitely what i wanted for her but i just need more bush to happen at the top and once that happens it's gonna be great <laughs> i'm gonna have a beautiful fiddle then i'll start making i think they're called notches so that she can branch out i'm excited <laughs> anyways random plant talk i'm gonna go wash my face take a hot shower y'all today was so cold it was insane i honestly was pretty covered up too i had this turtleneck with my long trench coat and even that wasn't enough it was the wind too the wind had a lot to do with it it's a cold day today fall is officially here i'm really loving this entire fit and i will probably wear the same thing again also baby fiddle is doing great this is the fiddle that i propagated earlier this spring or summer she looks amazing. She just got this new leaf on the right side. And she is doing great because her roots were not disturbed. So she's thriving. I turned my humidifier on now that it's getting so cold because this one I knew for a fact I needed to move away from the window. That plant is a diva. So moved her, moved ZZ away, and then I put Monstera here. This is a Monstera that I am propagating in water, but I'm going to move her to soil immediately when she develops some roots because look at how beautiful she's going to be, y'all. Look at all of the fenestrations on this leaf and this leaf and this leaf. When I pot this into soil, or maybe I'll do like a, I don't know. It's just going to be a beautiful plant. I can already see it. I haven't done a welcome in a while. So if you're new here, welcome. Thank you so much for watching. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you. I always feel all the love in the comments. Y'all are always encouraging me, hyping me up, motivating me as well. You all say that I motivate you, but y'all motivate me too. I feel the love and I feel the support and I'm very grateful and thankful for all of you. Thanks for watching my channel. I feel so blessed that y'all are literally watching me live my life and talk about my plants randomly, do my self care. Anyways, y'all, I'm going to go take a hot shower and relax for the rest of the night.
this rose water facial mist has become like my favorite part of my skincare routine it's just so refreshing and moisturizing and soothing after you get out of the shower pick this up at ulta randomly because i used to use this a lot back in the day and then i kind of stopped 